So here at this intersection now we will go into full autonomous mode. He's got hands free and we are off. This is Vivek Giacomo. I'm Director for Sales at Piran Robotics, a software company based out of Crozet, Virginia. We specialize in creating retrofit kit for existing vehicles for full autonomy in designated zones for passenger as well as for goods transportation. We're excited to be here at ITS America showing the AV Star vehicle from Green Power Motor Company. North Carolina DOT is looking to lead the way in this industry with Connect and Autonomous Vehicle. They want to put things out, they want to get the feedback, they want to get the data, they want to be able to be one of those state DOTs that can push innovation so that roads are safer. That's number one. Let's make sure that we can save lives. Green Power Motor Company has this AV Star designed from the ground up as an electric vehicle. 19 passengers, ADA compliant, FMVSS compliant vehicle that we have put our Tony retrofit kit in. We have three LIDARs and four radars on the vehicle. A front-facing radar that detects obstacles in front for pacing and following. We have uh, two LIDARs in the front on the left and right to detect objects and traffic coming from the side as well as passing the vehicle. We have two GPS antenna on top for orientation and localization and we use that together with RTK correction for exact positioning of the vehicle in the center of the lane. We have our partner applied information. They provide a RSU detection unit in the vehicle so we would be able to integrate the traffic light information. As we are approaching a traffic light we would be able to uh, provide the information to our AV stack. The traffic light is approaching and we would be able to realize the signal phase and timing and act accordingly whether it's slow down or continue through the intersection. So we have pedestrian detection built in into this. If there, is, there are crosswalks or even jaywalkers uh, anywhere, the vehicle would detect intrusion into its space in the front and either slow down or stop depending on what the pedestrian is doing. 